Hey guys and welcome back to Make Some Account Like YouTube. In this video, if we're like really tired, that is because it's 7 o'clock in the morning and we're doing a horse video, morning horses. Again. Again. We have not done one in a little while. So we're going to finally do another one for you guys. So you guys can enjoy another horse video. Yep, so we're gonna do a morning horse video, so let's get into the video. Alright, so first thing on the morning horses, we're gonna feed the horses. This is a breakfast. That's um, Bucky's food. This is Bucky's food, growth, oats, calf mania, and flexi. And this is Chex. She has senior feed. So that's why it doesn't have oats in it. And then we mix oats with it. Because she's the only one that can have senior. Because she's the oldest. So we mix oats, calf mania, and flaxseed um, with her senior food. Now, if you guys are wondering what the bags look like, um, we will show you that in another video. So I'll walk this to check so you don't Look, she's so excited. She's like, oh my gosh. And then after she eats, I take out all the braids so that her mane will give a wavy vibe. They were really, really cute. I had her sleep in them last night. That was the after aftermath because I had to take leave the brush out. So I'm going to brush it today in the morning. See, I'm going to go ahead and make the feed. All right, so Mason's going to go ahead and make the feed. And I am... Either gonna, <clears throat> I'm either gonna clean, yeah, I might need to clean her stuff. <clears throat> Good morning, she's so happy, she's on the happy side. Hello, beautiful lady. All right, I'm going to take out all of her braids. This is what I did do her tail um, last night because I couldn't decide if I wanted to do just one or two big braids or not in her tail, but this is her mane. Super, super cute. I love these. These are my favorite. They're so pretty. But she is a beautiful girl. These, I didn't have enough hair right here to braid, so I'm just leaving it. I did nice tight braids. They kind of loosened up, which was my plan. Because when she rolls and lays down, I also closed her gate so they didn't get dirty. Um. Anyways, so this is their tail. This is what it looks like. Okay, I did four braids. Let's see if you guys can see I have to take the one. Oh. All right, so we got one, two, three, and four. Yeah. I just, like did this, twir twirl them, and put them in a bun, and then I left the top hairs to just kind of hang. So I didn't try to do the look on her, just like that wavy look. So we're going to see what it turns out to be. So let's take them out. Try one number one. Oh, I really, really am excited. Yeah, see, that's what I was going for. Like that cute, wavy look. I call her my little Indian girl. That's she always lets me just mess around with her and make her look like a sweet little angel. Me. Mm -hmm. I did her forelock too, but I don't really have enough hair there. It's literally like a feather. So I have to take it out. All right, you can take him. Okay, so I got the feed made. Um, this is what the feed looks like. It's all made up. Bucky's and Chex's is that brown one right there. It's Bucky's and Chex's feed. Um, the horses are still eating their feed, so what are they doing? Hey, mules. How much food you got left? Yeah, you still got a while to go, don't you? So I think I'm gonna clean Bucky's stall while um he's eating. So I'm gonna do that. All right, this is the best angle I could find. So I'm going to clean his stall. So we push this back. Hopefully this camera does not fall. Ah. Bucky. Hang on, guys. Okay, well. That spot did not work. I think it will, though. <sighs> Are you trying to 
All right, we're gonna try this location again. Stalls are like the worst part. Um, I don't think they're fun by any means. They're not fun. Yeah, so. Come on. If I had some money that I could pay to do it, I would. I would, trust me. into a wheelbarrow behind you guys don't know Yeah. Cleaning stalls is done in Bucky's stall. You guys go for a ride. Mm. Stall's clean now.
I'm gonna turn some water. I'm gonna turn both of the horses out. Um, I'm gonna put checks in the front pasture and Bucky in the back. And we're gonna try to split them up somewhere. The reason I'm saying split them up is because checks and Bucky are, well, not so checks, more Bucky. Bucky has bodies out of the checks. Checks, she needs bodies out are very easy. Except this time she's not really like being into bodies style, which is kind of weird. I was like, are you sick? But she never does that, but. Oh. And yeah, she's gonna go out. She's gonna go outside and hang out and have some fun. So while she has fun for the morning, we are going I'm going to put a on Alright. I might just leave her in her stall. Um, she's been in there all night, I know, but she hasn't heard her, had her back gate open. I want to kind of split those two horses up. Oh, I'll take a buggy to the back, so. So you can take him to the back. I'll just leave her in her stall with some hay. Um, she'll survive. She'll be okay. No, I love that horse. She's a good girl. Let me get her. A little flake of hay, well, enough to last for through the day. This is about maybe two flakes, two small flakes put together. Ah. Okay, this is hard with camera. I'm going to turn her fan on for the day, just in case she decides to go in her stall. She's got some wind, so I know it's going to be extremely hot. John Penn still has all the obstacles and stuff I stuck in there. Yeah, and, and guys, Bucky's fun mask is on. Look at Mr. Carrot Boy. Carrot Boy. He's Carrot so boy. cute. I'm going to put a homestead on him because I don't feel like doing all this crap with the hay stream today. All right. I'm going to put a homestead on so I will get on target and back up the checks and then. Yep, okay. Get checks. So let me show you guys her finished product on her main. I tried to do the forelock for fail, but the main says otherwise that's really pretty i love the look on that her tail i just brushed out it's a little frizzy right now because i brushed it dry but it's probably one of the best decisions i've made to braid it because y'all know when you're trying to brush your horses in the morning if you even do brush your horses in the morning like me you would know that their tail looks horrifying in the morning because they just sleep and they roll and stuff and they pee on it sometimes, like chicks, if you have the same, if you have a horse that does the same thing. Um, it's like unmanageable in the morning, so that's why I, hers is usually really bad. Like hers is unmanageable. So, four braids, one here, one here, one here, and one here. It definitely works. Now don't braid the top, because if you braid the top, then it, won't work as good. I've tried that before. So now she's eating her daily hay. And Bucky's going to the back. So we're going to see what Bucky does. Yeah, Alright, going to the back. She's fixing to start screaming here in a second. She gets us Sam's. So she's not going to freaking lose her mind. She's okay. Relax. But I am going to open is name the blurs because we just got the variety pack. Super duper delicious. These weren't that expensive. Not trying to supply, but everything else I bought was like twenty one dollars. <coughs> it could have been like um. I know, cause I got thumper. Oh, she didn't fill, finish all her feed. I got thumper. These treats, they're called drops. They're basically watermelon flavored. They come in all different flavors, but I got a watermelon, um, watermelon flavor, and they're like yogurt drops in different flavors. They have like tomato, like cherry, and, um, pear. I was like, oh, you might like pear. But I got the watermelon. 
I didn't check the price, and then a tiny bag, like a normal animal treat bag, like um, like a rabbit treat bag. You've seen those little treats and stuff. Normal treat, it like maybe this high, this wide, like this wide, but it wasn't. It wasn't um like a bunch of treats. It was just a little bit of treats, and you would think, oh, maybe like three dollars. Four dollars? No, that thing was twenty-one dollars for that. I was like, mm, mm. and I didn't realize that until I looked on the receipt. I was like, what? Check your receipts, people. And Buffy is in the back. I thought you were gonna throw Bucky. <laughs> that would have been a lot of power. <laughs> All right, so Mason, I'm home for you guys. Okay, Bucky is in the stall. I mean, down in the stall. He is down there. That horse down there in the back. Chex is right there. So, everybody's in the back. Now we're going to lock up shop and um, head home. Locking up tack room. We're going to lock up storage room where we keep our pitchforks. Keep our pitchforks. Wheelbarrows. And buckets and stuff like that in here. The storage room. And close Bucky's stall. I gotta go close the stall. And now we're done. Ready to head home. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Thanks to McKenna's YouTube. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like these course videos, make sure to like them up. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Peace.